Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to extract the Comrade DLLs from their PowerShell dropper. The dropper contains both x64 and x86 versions of the DLLs embedded in it. We will use CyberChef to help us with the extraction. So let's dive in. Here I am in my virtual machine. I have this folder called Comrade. In it, I have two files. One file which is the SHA-256 sum of the file and another zip file. Let me open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So the file with the long name is actually the PowerShell file that we would like to analyze. So I will make a backup copy of this file and rename it to step1.ts1. I will open step1.ts1. Remember the task that we have taken upon us is to extract the DLLs which are embedded in this PowerShell file. So let me toggle the word wrap. In fact, let me toggle it back and I want to show you something. If you look at this file in the legend on the right hand side where the mouse is, you can see that the file is huge. It has a lot of text in it. And I'm assuming that this base 64 variables which are embedded in this file contain the DLL payload. So we are going to firstly format this file and then we are going to try to extract the payload from this file. So before trying to format this file, let me enable the, the toggle word wrap again. And we will use Visual Studio Code to help us with the formatting of the file. In order to do this, we will have to remove these long variables from this file. So let me look for these variables first. So I think these are the variables. So let me remove these from this file and write here a comment that long words were present here. I will create a new file called longwars.txt and paste in them here. Improve the formatting a bit. And right now I will press Ctrl Shift P and select format document. As you can see, Visual Studio Code has done a lot of work for us and it has completely formatted this file. We will just tidy up the file a bit and make sure that it is fully formatted. I'm also trying to look over the file to understand what is going on, to look for things which stand out. Okay. So let me start from the beginning and look over this file. This is a function which generates some random characters and then it returns the string which is provided to it along with the concatenated characters. So I don't have a problem with that. Then the next thing is this base64 string that is also fine. Then we have those long variables. Let let us bring those long variables back into this file as well. Okay, so they are back. Now if you're looking at this long variables, let me just follow this variable. So text2.h is first converted from a base64 string to h t299 which is over here which is then converted to a byte array and it is sent to this function i think this function is generated from this base64 string so let's first try to understand what this function is i will open cyberchef 
to help me with the analysis i can also use the uh, terminal but i want to show you some other options as well in one of the previous videos i wish i have also shown how we can use the bash prompt to convert some text from base 64 to its original text all right so now we can see that this is a class and this is the same class which is being called here rzb645be and then we can see that there is a function called xd014ic which is this function here this function if i want to do a bit of formatting i need to take this out and put this in a new document so if i want to understand this very very quickly i can just do something like what i'm doing right now um, and so what this function does is that all right so this is this and this is this and this is this all right so what this function and this class is doing is that it is taking some bytes in it and then it is taking another bytes another byte array and then it creates an output array which is the same size as the incoming bytes and the incoming bytes and then zord with the gamma array so it's it's clearly seen that this is an encryption function where the incoming bytes are zord with the gamma array and then it is con concatenated in the output array so that is fine which means these two strings are then converted into something else If you keep on going down again these whatever is the output of this operation it is then basic converted to base 64 string again atced and if you can see atced is being used here as then as well in this if condition if you look at this if condition it is very clear what it is trying to do this function is used by malware writers in their code to identify what version of the operating system the PowerShell is running on. So if the size of the integer pointer is four, that is indicative of an x86 x86 based operating system. And if the int pointer size is eight, that is indicative of an x64 based operating system. So right now they are, they are if they are assigning HQO388. So they are assigning AT85CED to HQO388EA. Which means that this might, this string might contain the base 64 or the, this might contain the actual payload that we are looking for the DLL. So what we'll do is that ATCED is just a converted version of TEX. So let's try to get to the bottom of what is in this base 64 string. So again, I'm going to rely on Cyberchef. I will put this text here. Okay. I have put this text here and, and then I want to un understand the file type. Detect file type. I can put this here and the detect file type tells us that this is a gzip file. So in order to further analyze this, I will use gunzip. And after I do gunzip, I have this further PowerShell code, which I will extract and put in another file called step two. step 2.ps1 and I will format this as well okay so something is clear to me very very quickly that this PE bytes 
Now I want to see what this PE, why it means PE means portable executable obviously. And uh, I want to see how this PE bytes is extracted. Let me toggle the word wrap out. And this PE bytes is basically extracted from LNO OGF, which is a base 64 string here. So I will try to put this into um, Cyberchef as well. Create a new version. And we have from base 64. And again, we will try to see what kind of file is this. This is another GZ file. That's fine. We will use gunzip. And we can see we now have an MZ header and this program cannot be executed, cannot be run in DOS mode. I will save this file as download. Since this was the x86 base version of the file, I will just say rat x86 dot dat. Save the file. And let's try to see what this is. So the file should be in the downloads folder. So CD, in fact, let me move it here. MV downloads. And then I will run file on this. And we can see that this is a PE executable DLL with is an x86 based version. I can also use PowerShell to give me, sorry, CyberChef to extract the SHA-256 sum. So I can look for this SHA-256 sum on virus total as well. So once I get the SHA-256 sum, I can check for it on, on virus total and see if something similar is seen on virus total as well. As we can see clearly that this is Comrade and I've already showed you that this is an x86 version of the DLL. Now I will current, I will show you how to extract the x64 base version of the file in a similar manner. I will speed up this part of the video just to show you what I do very, very quickly. And um, I will get back to you at the end where I have completed the extraction of both the files. So as we can see that both the files have been extracted, both the DLLs from, from the PowerShell have been extracted. I think that brings us to the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments below and I hope to see you in the upcoming videos.